Hello, everybody. We are starting another week with you. I hope this week will be a wonderful week of uh, blessing, a wonderful week of knowledge and wisdom to all of us. At this week, I want to talk more about uh, what we see in every na every nation, every country. Every you know, if you go to America, you see these kind of people. You see two kinds of people. There, people are basically divided into two groups of people, especially in their attitude to life and in their results of life. Um, if you go to America, you go to Europe, you go to Africa, you go to anywhere in the world, you see these two groups of people. They are losers and winners. Who are the losers and who are the winners? Why do some people win in life and why do some people lose in life? Even people coming from the same family, you still see people who are lo some people in the same family, in the same home, some people losing and some people winning. What is the difference between people who win and people who lose in life? Well, that's what I want to talk to you ab about this week. Why do some people win and why do some others lose? Uh, uh, the, f the first point I want to give to you today is that winners always identify themselves with solution. They always identify themselves with solutions. Why losers always identify themselves with problems? You could create a microclimate and uh, bring together two people, one with a loser's mentality and one with a winner's mentality, and you could tell them to assess the situation. You could, you know, you could tell the loser what is what should we do here, and the loser will tell you there is nothing that could be done. Uh, this is a problem. There is this problem, this problem, this problem, this problem, and it will give you hundreds and thousands of reasons why it is not possible to excel in life and why it is not possible to resolve the situation at hand. But a winner will come and say, well, I see, you would rather, rather than say the reason why you cannot do it, it will begin to see the opposite. It will begin to tell you why you can do it. It will begin to point out to you the reason why you are going to make it. It will begin to tell you the solutions and the possibilities that are in the same situation where the loser had just said nothing could be done. So who are you? Are you the kind of person that sees possibilities? Or you are the type that complains about everything and you only see problems. Well, that's how people become losers or winners in life. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Uh, we we'll continue this week to talk about the mentality of a loser and the mentality of a winner. So what is the mentality? What, what is the difference between these two people? What differentiates a loser from a winner? And how do you recognize him when you meet them? And how do you know yourself if you are a loser or a winner? By the way you think and by the way you live. What are the philosophies that differentiate these two people? Well, uh, there is a major difference between these two people. That's why their lives are so different. That's why their results are so different. It's so different. And one of the major differences is what we're going to talk about today. A loser will always let it be. Just let it happen. You know, just this is what is happening. There is nothing I can do about it. That's what a loser does. There is nothing I can do about it. That is the attitude of a loser. There is nothing I can do about it. They let things happen. They let things happen. And they say, there is nothing I can do about it. You know, I, can just, I can't help it. I can't help it. That's why um, things are happening and there is nothing really I can do about it. I can't help it. But you know, winners never think like that. Winners, they don't let things happen. Winners make things happen. They make things happen the way they want it. They make situations change to them, to their favor. They make circumstances change to, 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 to favor them, to, to work for them. They don't just let anything happen anyhow. No, they make things happen the way they want it. The attitude of a winner is that it will work out for me. I'm going to make it. I, I, will, make, I will find a way anyway. It's one way or the other. I don't know how, but there is a way out. I am going to find a solution. And I'm going to make things happen rather than letting things happen. So who are you? Well, maybe you need to cross from one to the other. God bless. Hello everybody, good morning, good day. Uh, we're continuing this week. Uh, what we've started to do today, what we've started to talk about is all way. About two mentalities of two different kind of people you find anywhere you go to in the world. You find winners everywhere you go to, either in the poorest country of the world or in the richest countries of the world. You find people who win, who go forward and who are making progress.
Christ, whatever, what, 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 no matter what is happening around them. Then also you go to any part of the world and you find another category, another category of people. And these other category of people you find are the losers. And why do you wonder why they lose? Even in the richest countries of the world, you wonder why are people still poor in this country? And why, why do people lose? You go to the, you go to Africa, you find losers. You go to America, Europe, you find losers. Why are there so many losers and so few winners? Well, it's so simple. It's not just because of the country you live in, and it's just because of the, it's not just because of the job you got. It's because of the mentality, and because of the philosophy of life of these two groups of people. Well, today I want to talk about the winner's uh, uh, philosophy or mentality as against, uh, as opposed to uh, loser's mentality. A loser will always look for an excuse. Losers always look for an excuse. Oh, the fool price has gone up this week. Oh, uh, the cars have become more expensive than before. Oh, Japanese cars are too small. Oh, American cars are too big. Oh, this car doesn't have an aircon. Oh, this house is too small. This bed is too small. Uh, the losers will always complain about everything. Losers always look for something to complain about. Losers are always complaining. But rather than complaining, you know what winners do? Winners go out and find an, a, 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 an idea. In, even in, a, in, a, in the most terrible of situations, they go out and look for opportunities instead of, uh, instead of uh, uh, looking for excuses. So losers find excuses because they don't even need to look for it. But in the midst of excuses, winners come and look for opportunities and look for ideas. They are looking for what this situation could create for them, what new idea it could give them, and what, you know, how could these new circumstances or situation help them to win. They are always looking for new ideas, new opportunities, and that's how they win in life. So who are you? Are you the type that complain and uh, find the reason to argue your case why you can't do something? Or you are the type that always finds ideas, new excuses, why you must you know new ideas, new opportunities, even where there are bound excuses. All right, talk to you tomorrow. God bless. Hello friends, hello everybody. We continue to talk this today about the topic we've started this week, the mentality of a winner and the mentality of a loser. What is the difference between them? You see them everywhere. And why do some people win? And why do some people lose? It's all about attitude. It's all about attitude. It's all about how we relate to life, how we relate to situations and circumstances that surround all of us. I mean, you see that the same circumstances surround winners and the same circumstances surround losers. But you see, losers will always relate differently from how winners relate. So what is the attitude of winner, uh, losers? Why do they lose? Well, one of, them that, one of the attitudes that I want to show to us today is the fact that losers always think, well, I'm not to blame. It's not my fault. They are always thinking of uh, covering for themselves. Losers always think of not taking the blame. Yeah, I'm not to blame. I'm not to blame. It's not my fault. Uh, it's not my fault. I'm not to blame. Uh, they just want to. They, they they love themselves too much. They want to cover for themselves. They want to protect their 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 skin. They want to uh, protect their face. They want their reputation. They are concerned too much about their reputation. They are, they are too much concerned about what people think about them. So they are always saying, "Well, I am not to blame. It's not my fault. I uh, I don't have anything to do with this." Well, that's how losers behave. But you know what, loser, what, what winners would rather do in a situation like that? Losers would come and say, what, what happened? What do I need to do? Can I help? Loser, winners would come, even if they don't have anything to do with the situation, they want to come and offer their help. They offer their help. How can I help you? What can I do in this situation? Is there anything I can do? Please give me something to do. Uh, 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 but if they are responsible, they say yes. I know what happened, I'm responsible for it, and I'm ready to resolve the situation. I'm taking responsibility for, the, for my action. And even if they are not responsible, they still want to come out and say, how can I help? Well, that's the major difference, that's one of the major differences between a winner and a loser. Let's stop thinking about ourselves. Let's begin to take responsibility for the world around us. And then the world and we, 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 we will all become 
the, our world will all be, will become a better place just because of people who take responsibility upon themselves. Bless you. Hello, everybody. We continue to talk today about the mentality of a loser and the mentality of a winner. So who are these two people and what are the things that differentiate them? Well, we've been talking a lot about this this week, and uh, I hope you've uh, identified uh, some of your uh, attitudes and uh, character traits. And uh, it's, it's interesting for me to know your reactions and your response to this message and, uh, and, and see, you know, if it's helping you in one way or the other or not. Uh, well, today, the, the point I want to make about the mentality of a loser and a winner is that the loser is always thinking, the loser is always thinking, uh, <laughs> this is very funny, but the loser is always thinking it's not going to work out for me. Well, what about if I fail? What about if it doesn't work out? Uh, what about if, if it doesn't work out for us? What about if we fail? What about if, if, uh, if things don't work out? What about if, if I make a mistake? What about uh, if I fail? What about if it doesn't work out? Well, the, the, failing, the loser is always focusing on failing and on failure. That, oh, it's not going to work out. Oh, the people are going to laugh at, at me. Oh, people are going to, you know, you know, think I'm bad or I'm weak, I'm, or I'm this or I'm that. But uh, winners don't think like that. A winner doesn't focus on, on if it's going to work out for him or not. A loser, a winner, knows that it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Even if he fails, he knows he's going to try again till it, it works out for him. If, if he fails again, he's going to try again till it, it works out for him. If he fails again, he's going to try again till it works out for him. That's why we have electricity uh, bulb today and the light, electricity light that we have and the, uh, in our houses and in the streets because somebody that is called Thomas Edison was never afraid of failure. Uh, he didn't have a loser's mentality, he had a winner's mentality. So when he tried 900 times and he couldn't make it, he was failing all the 999 times, he didn't give up. He kept on trying till the, till the, till the thousand times. And on the thousand time, uh, that was where he made it. And uh, because he was not afraid of trying. And each time he failed, he just knew how to do it better. So uh, that's what we we are supposed to be. We are not supposed to be afraid of failing. We are supposed to keep on trying until we make it. God bless. Hello, everybody. We continue to talk today about the mentality of a winner and the mentality of a loser. So what is the difference between these two? I'm sure this week has been a, uh, a telling week for us. We have, I'm sure you've learned a lot about uh, the difference between a loser and who is a loser and why do they have that kind of attitude and uh, who is a loser and why do they win why do they why do losers lose and why do winners uh, win in life so uh, and I'm sure we have uh, begun to apply some of these principles and if you apply them you will always win in life one of the other principles and uh, the features of uh, a loser and a winner that I want to expose to you today is the fact that uh, losers will always focus on the they focus too much on the price to pay to attain the goal. They always focus, for example, they say, well, it's possible to attain, to become whoever you want to become or to do that as, uh, assignment or to, f to finish that task, but it's too difficult to do it. It's, it's, too, it's too hard. They focus more on the price to pay. That it's just too difficult. It's, it's possible, but it's, it's too hard. They are focusing on the process, the price you pay in the process of getting to your goal. But the winners, they normally focus on the goal. They don't care what the amount of uh, price you need to pay, what, what the hurdle you need to cross. They know they are going to, at the end of the day, they are going to get to their goal. They know they are going to attain the, 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 the height they are, they are aiming for. So they, they are ready whatsoever the cost to go and attain the height, to go and attain the, the purpose and the goal they have put before themselves. So they say, well, it doesn't matter what it's going to cost me. It doesn't matter what price I need to pay. I am going to achieve that goal. And they, they, they focus on the goal why the loser focuses on the price to be paid. Now, uh, you can say it in another way. The loser focuses on the, on the difficulties, on the way to, on the price you pay to, to, before you get, the, the, before you get the, the reward. Why the winner focuses on the reward. He focuses on the reward, 
not on the price you pay in on the way to getting the reward so who are we are we the kind of people that focuses on how difficult the price is going to be to pay at the price we are paying on the way to getting the reward or we are the people that focuses on the reward rather than the process of getting there if you focus on the reward you will always overcome the the hurdles and the challenges that are on the way uh, that's wh why winners win and that's why losers lose because they focus on the wrong thing god bless hello everybody well it has been a wonderful i think uh, a very adventurous week for the for all of us from the from monday till now today we are finishing unfortunately uh, the series that we started this week on the mentality of a loser and a winner uh, i'm sure you must have taken a lot for yourself and these things are very simple and they seem to be uh, available everywhere it's the things that everybody knows or maybe And, and that's what makes the difference in life. It's not just to listen to uh, so these messages and to say, well, I've heard it before, but to be able to change your life by the help of this truth that we receive. So it is only the truth that we allow to uh, penetrate into our lives, that we allow to change us, that actually improve our lives, that make us into better people. Uh, winners win only because of their attitude to life. We, and losers lose because of the same thing, because of their attitudes to life. As a matter of fact, both losers and winners, they live in the same societies, they live in the same countries. But the difference is uh, the way uh, losers respond to the challenges of their days and of their lives, and the way the, the losers respond, they respond totally different. So that's the difference between the losers and winners. And, and, and we can become winners if we only change our attitudes. So I will encourage all of you to uh, try to go back to these messages of this week and uh, you know, maybe to even get them you know, written down or recorded for yourself so that you could listen to them as often as possible until the, the world becomes flesh in you. And uh, when, once you begin to act according to these words, uh, you begin to see a difference in your life. Because what actually changes a man is not just listening and saying, I've heard 